Hey guys, how's it going? So listen, I got about halfway into this project and decided maybe I should record it um, just to help out the next guys that may be trying to do something like what I'm doing here. I got this bathtub. It's one of those cheap yet expensive ABS tubs from a 2000 series camper that I'm in the process of remodeling. Um, after removing it from the camper, I went and Stripped everything off of it as good as I could. As you can see, all the caulking is gone. All of that's really clean. Uh, but I'm left with some cracks. All these little dots are the ends of the cracks there. I'm also left with some pretty good sized holes in the corners, which will not keep the water in. Um, additionally, while I was taking this tub out, uh, my shower stall, you know, the whole back backsplash thing was completely destroyed uh, down at the base. It was cracked and leaking like crazy. So that, that's gotta be replaced totally. That's also made of ABS. So what I did was I took this shower stall and ripped it down on my table saw here. And uh, once I was done with that, I collected all of the dust from it and mixed it up in here. It kind of looks like white paint. It's actually acetone and ABS um, mixed together. And that'll form a bit of a, a bond. Um, and uh, with the ripped down pieces, you can see these are all these are all extras that I'm going to use to reinforce parts of this thing so it doesn't break on me again. But coming over here, I just used my heat gun to take this strip that I cut out of that back shower stall there and make it about the right size. And you can see from there, the plan is to just glue this bad boy right on to the back of this thing and then I'll use my paste that I made up to fill these corners with a little bit of a gap that's left over from this from this process. So I'll give, you, give you a show right here, see? Yeah, it's trials of trying to film something, right? But anyways, I won't have quite that much of a gap. So that's about it right there. That's not too bad. Uh, should be able to fill that up with the paste all right and everything will be abs when it's all finished uh, i plan on drilling out all these holes to stop these cracks from spreading any further uh, i probably won't mess with the ones on this corner or this this edge right here um, i'm just going to fill that with the paste um, it'll seep in there it's got a bunch of acetone in there it'll seep in there it'll melt that and uh should just uh, re-adhese to itself and uh, it should be the end of it. But like this guy right here, I'll drill that one out and fill it. Um, once I'm all finished with the ABS repairs on this thing, uh, then it's gonna get a new coat of paint on there and it should look brand new. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, well, as you can see, I got the holes drilled out. Um, this one was quite the crack, but I took a look at this, you can see. There's a lot, of, a lot of daylight in there, but that's okay. We'll fill all that stuff. And I got those two little holes, so what I'm going to do is grab my rasp right here and just knock those down as much as I can so I get a nice flush finish. And then what I will do is I will take these two little bits of that shower backsplash that I just snipped off with my side cutters here and I will glue those to the back side of those holes to make sure that uh, it's got uh, some reinforcement back there. Um, what I'll also do is I'll spread apart this crack as much as I can and I'll get some of that putty in there. Um, remember this is all structural. Uh, it'll all be totally sealed once that's all bonded together again. So I'm not too worried about that crack spreading beyond that point. And in the back side of it here, like I said, this will all be reinforced with that strap that I made. And then I'll probably add some additional reinforcing over here where it screws in on this side as well as the other side there just to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Um, also note that like, you know, the general shittiness of the build quality of some of these RVs. Like you see my foam here underneath, you see how it's flattened all the way across there, except for that one bit. That's where the little platform ended because uh, the guys that were putting it together couldn't get it around the, the piping, the water pipe, because they didn't didn't try at all. But uh, that's how it goes. 
So I'll bring it back once I get that uh, strap ready to go on there. Um, my next steps are going to be to just wipe everything down with acetone. Uh, that'll kind of soften the plastic a little bit in preparation for the for the cement that I'm going to put on there. And uh, once that's done, I'll uh, I'll bring it back. Okay, as you can see, I got all the cracks filled with the putty and the it's the the solvent that I made up. It's uh, working real good to adhere those pieces. Might look a little ugly on this side, but I don't really care because no one will ever see it. It's all sorted out. And then uh, on this side here, I have one more I had to drill out down here that I found. And I want to make sure all you, all those cracks are drilled out. Um, at least going into the main tub area because they'll just, they'll, they'll propagate and continue through there. Um, I kind of try to spread the cracks apart a little bit and get some of that uh, solvent in there. And uh, that uh, worked pretty good. Um, it kind of squeezed out a little bit when I when I let the pressure off, and uh, that's what I'm after. So uh, we'll see if this works. I think it will, because um, ABS is pretty easy to work with. All right, next thing is to get this strap on there. And uh, just a quick note, the way I'm applying this is just with a uh, acid brush. It's just a metal, metal boar's hair brush. Um, you know, doesn't... Uh, won't, won't dissolve away in the acetone that's in there and whatnot. So I can feel it's starting to get a little thicker, so that's good. It uh, means it's uh, getting closer to the consistency that I need it for filling the corners. But uh, right now, the consistency that it's in is fantastic for gluing on those strips. So I'm going to get to that and uh, bring you right back. Alrighty, folks, well, I got it all cleaned up. Here is stage two. Um, I probably should have planned this a little better and I don't know, anchored some boards back there, but uh, it's sticking pretty good. I'll pull all these clamps off before it uh, really sticks down. And what I do is just ran a bead of that solvent that I made all the way around the top here. Okay, I got all the uh, glue on there, the solvent. It's uh, holding pretty good. I put a couple little fillets in the corner. Take care of that, any gap that's there. Glopped a bunch of solvent in there. I'll come in with a flat wheel or something and sand all that down. Um, but again, I don't know how much it'll matter because most of that won't be seen. Uh, as you can see, the corners look pretty solid. Um, this stuff sets up pretty quick, so you don't have much time to work with it. Um, but you want to give it probably 24 hours to cure before you start sanding it and trimming it and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it uh, seems to look good. I'll, uh, I'll let this cure overnight and then... Uh, Start with some sanding and uh, bring you guys back when uh, I got that done. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. I think this will uh, definitely solve my problem at least for a little bit. Save me uh, from having to buy a new tub, which are this size seems to be impossible to find as well. So it's a 24 by 32. I can find shower pans like that, but not these little tub things anymore. So uh, I guess the uh, the same process would work if you had like cracks elsewhere in the tub, say in the basin or something like that. You could. Uh, fill it from underneath and then, uh, you know, reinforce it from underneath and then just kind of fill the cracks with the uh, solvent there that you uh, that you made up. Um, save yourself some money. But it uh, seems like the, the, the backsplashes are the most expensive, you know, three, 400 bucks a piece compared to the tubs, which are 150, 200 bucks. So, anywho, thanks for watching.